Welcome back. It's time to cut the dovetail mortise in the body of this instrument. This is, I would think, probably the most critical step in building this guitar. If I mess the mortise in this body up, there's no coming back from it. And what I'm doing, this is called the kind of dovetail joint that this is is called a half blind dovetail, which means it's open at one end and closed at the other. So I'm taking this saw and I'm cutting the angles of this dovetail joint, but I can only cut all the way the depth that I need at the top where it's open. The Dovetail does not go all the way through the body of the guitar. So I have to stop and it, I end up with like an angled cut that I'm going to have to uh, remove the wood from by other means than using a saw. And that will be apparent as we go along. Now you see these clamps that I've got the guitar clamped to the bench with. I was trying to hold this thing still so that I could work on it because I don't have a luthier's vice or a parrot vice. I'd kill for one. Do you see that one clamp to the right? It's already loose. Well, they basically ended up falling off. I think you'll see one of them in this video do that. And I just went ahead and worked without them. And it worked out, but if I'd have had some way to stabilize the instrument body while I was working on it, it would have been a lot easier. But I don't, I don't have a luthier's vice, I don't have a parrot vice, I don't have any kind of way to do that. And so uh, I did what I could do, and that's the way that works. You see there? just fell off and I said the heck with it. I could have fiddled around with it and clamped it back up and I forget that dance. I could also use a a standard western dovetail saw, a good one. This one works though. This Dozuku or whatever this is called, it's a Japanese style saw. It's basically what this is is a is a fret saw to cut fret slots with. And you saw me use it, cutting the fret slots on this instrument. But it's uh, handy for stuff like this because it has a stiff back. Now in order to hog the rest of this out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a 7 8 Forstner bit to start it. And I'm going to hog the wood out as much as I can with that first. And, sorry that you can't really see what's going on, the camera view will change at some point and you'll be better able to see. But I can't worry as much about that as about getting this joint right. And as you see, we're back to a better point of view. There's a guy on the internet, there's a page on the internet, I cannot remember what it's called. Uh, I'll put the link up. And he did a whole uh, blog, or blog rather, on building an acoustic guitar. And that is where I learned this technique for building dovetail. I don't know who he is. Uh, I, I'll try to put a link to it if I can remember to, but I'm notorious for forgetting stuff like that. But if it hadn't been for him and that tutorial, I would have had a much more difficult time with this. And now... I'll move from that to a couple of different chisels. Uh, make sure your chisels are sharp. If they're not sharp, they're not going to do the job. And I'll use a chisel and a mallet and I am tapping very lightly. Uh, this is something that you have to do very carefully. The, uh, the heel block or neck block or whatever it's called, uh, people call it different things, that the uh, 
dovetail mortise is cut into, the grain of that runs the same direction as the grain in the sides do. And so if you're not very careful and you smack this chisel too hard, especially if you're going into that uh, joint from the top of the, from the shoulders of the guitar, you can split that block, okay? You do not want to do that. Also, uh, this guitar and most acoustic guitars are made out of very thin woods. This guitar, the, the woods are thin to the point of probably being too thin. The sides of my, uh, this guitar are 70 thousandths or a little under in some places. Uh, so, you know, if you beat on it too much, you're going to damage that as well. So it's just a matter of being patient and careful in order to maintain the right angles and cut this material out in a way. Now you see that sliding as I tap it with the mallet. If I, like I said, if I had a way to stabilize this instrument, then I would have had a lot easier time. And here you see I'm just using my hand and kind of push cutting. And uh, there's that's part of it as well. Uh, as long as your chisel is sharp and I'll go back and forth between this and using a mallet in order to clear this joint out. And I had to kind of calculate this joint a little differently because uh, the body is thinner here. It's three and a quarter inches deep at the uh, neck port side of the body which is about an inch narrower or an inch shallower than most guitars are and uh, or at least a dreadnought which this is not but anyway uh, so I had to shorten the mortise and I had to kind of extrapolate from the drawings and stuff that I had that I went by to lay this out. But it'll work. And it's just a matter of chipping away a little bit at a time not hitting it too hard or taking too deep of a bite so that I don't split this wood and that corner right there the way this dovetail locks up is right there at that corner that's the most important part of this joint is, is that corner in my opinion, because that's how it locks in. I really enjoyed this. This is the first time I've done this. Hopefully, and I think it will, I think when you see the result, uh, you'll like it and I think that I can uh, fit this joint really really nicely this is just preliminarily cutting it there's a lot of fitting to be done and uh, I will not be recording that that's a lot of fiddly kind of stuff and it could take hours a couple hours or longer because I've never done this before and I want to get it right and it's just, uh, it's not going to be something that you're going to want to watch. But uh, when I get the thing completely done, fitted properly, I'll...
come back in the, whichever the video is that I do next and show you the fit of it before I move on to doing anything else. If I can remember to. And there's the finished joint, the finished mortise. It worked. And there is the fit. I think I can make that fit really, really nicely. The angle is right. I checked it. So all I've got to do is lower it in the body. So thanks for watching. Bless you. And we'll talk later.